Welcome to the Rachel Varga Podcast. I'm your host, Rachel Varga, double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011 with over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures performed. I'm an international clinical trainer for other physicians and nurses as well, celebrity skin expert, having been featured on some of the world's top proactive aging podcasts and much, much more. Learn more at rachelvarga.ca and enjoy today's episode. Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's episode on the Rachel Varga podcast. I'm your host, and I'm thrilled to help you understand in today's episode how we can slow our aging, reduce acne, and reduce our toxic load. And believe it or not, you're, the way that you're aging and how much acne you're experiencing and that really annoying red post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation afterwards is actually related to your toxic load. And funnily enough, this is where biohacking comes in. And this is where filtering out the noise of the information you've been told to follow this diet for healthy skin or this diet for acne. What I want you to learn from today's episode is how to become hyper-focused in living in a way, using the right products, and biohacking using specific technologies that are going to be most helpful for reducing your toxic load and reducing the amount of inflammation in your body. When we address those two components, you will have better skin. You're also going to be feeling better and you're going to be slowing your aging, which is really, really cool. So this episode, hold on, because we are going to get into the thick of it as towards my, as to what my top biohacking options are for slowing aging and reducing acne because acne, this is acne awareness month and how we can make our acne go away faster and reduce that post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, which is super annoying is that redness that sticks around for sometimes a couple of weeks, a couple of months. And a little tip that I'll add right here is when that redness takes longer to dissipate after you've had a blemish or a breakout, or even if you've cut your hand or burned yourself, when you start to heal faster, that's a really good indicator that your body is managing oxidative stress, stress and inflammation effectively. So if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel Varga. I'm a double board certified aesthetic nurse specialist since 2011, and I performed well over 20,000 rejuvenation procedures. I'm also a researcher in the space of skin aging and rejuvenation. I'm published in the USA. I'm published in the UK. I am a peer reviewer as well. So I'm really in the know of the latest research as it's coming out, I'm literally peer reviewing papers, like the the, re, the most cutting edge stuff. And biohacking is definitely making its way into my work, which is very, very cool. So when we're talking about acne tips, uh, we want to, again, figure out how to reduce our toxic load. And I will just give some insights into some of my top biohacks here. Before I do that, please subscribe to the show share this episode with a friend, family member. And if you haven't yet booked your one-on-one -on -one session with me, I warmly invite you to do so where we can go through your customized skincare routine for your specific needs, your budget, your values, your lifestyle. That's what my one-on-one -on -one work entails. We have a call and you let me know what's going on with your skin. And then I am your guide for all things at home and in clinic needs, including things like dermal rolling, which can be really helpful for helping to reduce acne scars and promote more elastin and collagen in the skin. So I have over a decade of experience working with clients. I see what's working. I see which products they keep coming back for more on. So when it comes to products for acne and for your specific skin needs, it really does need to be customized. So I won't make any specific skincare product claims, but I'm more than happy to do that on a one-on-one -on -one session. Use promo code podcast15 and save on your session with me at rachelvarga.ca. I can't wait to meet you. So reducing our toxic load, what that will do is it will essentially be reducing the amount of oxidative stress and inflammation that's happening in the body. When your body is toxic, your skin is the largest organ of your body, and it's actually generally the last 
way you will start to, the last kind of um, indicator that you, your skin is or your body is toxic. So for example, around the holidays, if I have a little bit more alcohol or a little bit more sugar than I'm used to, usually about two or three weeks later, that's when I will experience breakouts because I'm having more oxidative stress in my body. And it does take a little bit of time for the skin to show it because the skin cell cycle from the dermis to the top of the skin where you actually see it, which is the stratum corneum, it's almost like dead um, skin cells is actually what we're seeing on our faces and on our skin. And it up close looks like a cornflakes stacked on top of one another. So you got to use a basic cleanser, moisturizer, sunscreen every single day, and an exfoliant to um, really stabilize the skin. And then we can start to introduce actives like retinol, glutathione, vitamin B complex, hyaluronic acid, lactic acid, uh, peptides, vitamin C, and there is a method to the madness with stabilizing the skin, then kind of like talking to it with certain skin actives and then doing things like at-home dermal rolling, collagen induction therapy, and also in clinic laser modalities. So I definitely have a process to, uh, that I can walk you through, which is very exciting to help you save time and money and stay on the straight and narrow. So there are a couple of key biohacks that I do recommend you employ for better skin and reducing your skin's propensity to be acne prone and help your skin to heal after the breakouts as well. And when it comes to foods, I highly recommend that you first of all, figure out which foods are right for you. Questions that I often get from my clients are, Rachel, what's the best diet for healthy skin or slowing aging the best diet for acne in general? And I actually, I really want you to kind of like stop yourself when you find yourself asking people, what's the best diet for this and that when actually you should be testing instead of guessing this, it should be hyper-focused towards what your body specific epigenetic needs are, what's going on with your gut microbiome, how to support you where you are at this moment. And Viome is actually a company that has a very specific gut and blood test that you can do at home. It's their health intelligence test kit. This will give you a readout as to like how much gas production is happening in your gut, uh, what your gut lining is like, what your overall gut inflammatory score is, what your biological age is. My biological age is nine years younger than my chronological age. And I would really uh, attribute that to living a low inflammatory life lifestyle, using really good, clean, but still effective skincare products that are backed by research, not by marketing, and that are really well formulated. And of course, biohacking, um, addressing the body, mind, spirit, energy components is really important as well for making sure that you're caring for your body in a more whole way. When we think about acne, a lot of times we just think about, okay, what's this like great shiny object that we can buy that's going to fix all our acne. It's never going to be one thing. It's going to be a combination approach of using the right skincare routine for you, the right foods for you, and making sure you're reducing your toxic exposure from various aspects, including your lighting, your water, your air quality, and the foods that you're consuming, as well as electromagnetics. So first of all, I want to uh, spend a little bit of attention on Viome's Health Intelligence Test Kit. The, the promo code I recommend using is VARGA10, and that will get you special savings off of your test kit. And any of the biohacks I recommend in today's episode, you can actually find in the show notes of this episode and also at rachelvarga.ca forward slash favorites. I do have a short list of my favorite biohacks for skin health and slowing aging that you can again find at rachelvarga.ca forward slash favorites. That's my favorites page on my website. Lots of great resources, affiliate links that helps us support free content here. And of course, promo codes to help you save some money. So get really specific with your foods because a lot of times we can eat healthy foods, quote unquote, healthy foods, but they might not actually be healthy for you. So that's why making sure that you're eating foods that are going to be supportive for you. And you can actually do these gut tests uh, every three, six months or so and like retest and actually see if the food choices and tweaks that you've been making to your lifestyle are actually making a difference for you. And so this is how we can test instead of gas. This is the whole concept of biohacking is how can we hack our biology to reduce inflammation to get better skin? The other thing I want to talk about 
is air quality. So I'm a huge fan of making sure that the air in your home is clean. HypoAir makes some great air purifiers. I, in my office here, have the Germ Defender. It's a smaller unit. I have one in my bedroom. I have one in my kitchen or on uh, my kitchen wall. So when I'm cooking, it's actually um, getting rid of VOCs in the air. And then I have some of the larger like Boomerang and Air Oasis filters actually in the larger living spaces as well. You can get that on my favorites page too. Um, use promo code Rachel10 to save a little bit of money. There's actually been some research done and in the countries like the Orient where there's higher levels of air pollution, there's actually greater um, oxidative stress on the skin. So the populations in areas of higher rates of air pollution, uh, so for example, more dirt, debris, particulates in the skin, when it actually rests on the skin, what happens is it creates oxidative stress, it actually stresses the skin out and then oxidative stress happens. And when that happens, you get uh, non-ideal cellular functioning. So how the skin displays oxidative stress through um, really bad air quality is redness, acne, quote unquote, sensitive skin, quote unquote, rosacea prone skin and hyperpigmentation and accelerated aging. So you don't wanna downplay how important your air quality is. Most homes have mold. So it's really important to make sure that you are filtering the air in your home. A lot of us live in cities as well. And then we're getting a lot of exposure to, to car fumes and, and pollutants that way. Also cleansing the skin is really important. So doing a double cleanse in the evening and then a single cleanse in the morning using say, for example, cleanser I've recommended for you is really important to get those oxidative stressors off of the skin and reduce that stratum corneum, that cornflake layer buildup exfoliate just a bit so that your moisturizers and antioxidant and peptide serums can actually um, be absorbed into the skin and not get kind of like gunged up, if you will, with all the dirt, debris, pollution, cosmetic creams, makeup, um, that you're not maybe cleansing and exfoliating off appropriately. So cleansing is really important in your air quality. And when it comes to skincare, I'll just mention this quickly, you always want to make sure that you are avoiding things like parabens, phthalate sulfates, artificial dyes, fragrances, and not testing on animals. I work with about 14 different practitioner grade skincare lines, and I have to work with so many because all of my clients have different needs and every line kind of has duds and superstars. So since 2011, I've been able to sift through the best products on the market to serve you. And I just wrapped up a lovely session with Cindy and she'd actually gone to her dermatologist and was on like a prescription tretinoin, which a lot of times practitioners will want to put you on for acne. And so I wanted to, what I do with my clients is actually go through live the products that they're using and search to make sure that they're not exposing themselves to toxins. And sure enough, that prescription cream from her dermatologist contained all four parabens. It's really disappointed to see this. This was a compounded retinol or tretinoin. Vitamin A is an antioxidant and it helps to promote cell turnover. And it's been used since the 80s and 90s, very well documented to help with acne, but using a super clean retinol, like the one that I recommend here, which is compatible even with dermal rolling as well. Um, you want to make sure you're using actives, but not exposing yourself to toxins at the same time. So with Cindy, she's 55, we're wanting to address things like pigmentation and aging. Uh, you you can hear a lot of information and be recommended products, but you do have to do your due diligence to make sure you're not exposing yourself to toxins as well. It's kind of the concept of you don't know until you know. Um, and, and of course, what we talk about here isn't medical advice, it's educational information only, but it really is up to you to become a more smarter cons consumer, a more discerning, a conscious consumer with what you're purchasing as well. Please don't fall prey to those social media ads for getting you to buy this, you know, product or supplement that um, isn't, isn't third-party lab tested. You could very well be exposing yourself to toxins like lead. Uh, I've seen this actually in multiple, multiple social media marketed supplements. Um, also, one thing to mention is that Viome makes precision supplements. So precision pre-probiotics and nutrients based on your health intelligence gut test, which is really cool. So you can actually get super focused with your, um, basically with what you're eating by following their food recommendations, which by the way, 
food testing used to be thousands. Now it's like a couple hundred dollars. And then you can get precision supplements made to order based on what your gut needs are, which is fascinating. So if you ever heard of things like leaky gut, basically if your gut lining is permeable and you have inflammation in your gut, inflammation mediators can actually slip through your gut lining and go throughout your body. And then you'll be seeing it in the periphery of your body on your skin with things like sensitive skin, maybe sometimes skin rashes, uh, accelerated aging, hyperpigmentation, acne, and acne scarring. So you're, you, I really want you to start to get very in tune with what your skin's trying to tell you. I also really like to recommend making sure your water is purified. If you can do um, distilled reverse osmosis type of water purification and bonus points, if you remineralize it and structure it, that's really important. Don't just rely on tap water. Tap water is super toxic and don't rely on your fridge filter either. Uh, you do want to use a really um, well-made reverse osmosis or a distillation process type of filtration method. And of course, wanting to remineralize it is great. Structuring your water is also a really important and interesting concept. I have a device right behind me here. It's called the Somavetic. And you can actually find that on my favorites page too at rachelvarga.ca. Use promo code Rachel10 to save. And what that does it, is it helps with uh, energy coherence in your home. So I'm in the Pacific Northwest. I'm on a fault line. And with that, there can be um, really interesting geopathic stress that we are electromagnetic beings actually before we are um, biological beings. Uh, very interesting. And you can actually take your water and place it next to your somavetic and structure it. And the funny thing is, I've actually tested this. The water does taste different when it's uh, tap water. I've, I've done a test with this. Tap water, filtered water, and filtered water next to the somavetic. So fascinating. So structuring your water essentially just makes it bioavailable. So when I'm doing my off-grid four by four days, three hours in the bush, no cell reception, I'm doing cold plunges um, in naturally occurring bodies of water, glacier waterfall runoffs and yes sometimes i'm drinking that water too and that is structured water in our bodies is is structured water but when we get water from the tap and from the faucet it's not structured the uh, bonding angles of the oxygen and hydrogen can actually change when it's going through uh, different pipes and things like that the bond angles can change so when you consume that water sometimes you'll end up drinking more water than say you would have drinking if you had structured water your body actually has to kind of work to make it more what's called bioavailable very very fascinating concept with water so make sure it's always a clean and filtered reverse osmosis or distilled is my preference and then remineralize and structured is ideal the other thing i'd like to spend some time on is lighting so the lighting that i have here recording this episode is like led studio lighting and blue light reaches about 100 nanometers deeper into the skin than what maybe we access in the outdoors, natural light. Uh, you get UVA and UVB lighting. So UVA rays are like the cloudy rays and UVB rays are like the sunny day rays. And the blue lights and LEDs in our home are reaching much deeper than actually what we're getting outside. So even if you're not leaving the house much, you're working from home, Yes, you still need to make sure you have antioxidants and peptides in your skincare. And then you are using a mineral only sunscreen. None of this chemical sunscreen filter business, avobenzone, oxybenzone. Um, there's many other types of chemical sunscreen filters. They sting your eyes, they kill marine life. So if they're killing marine life, imagine what they're doing to you. And they're also known hormone disruptors. So we have to make sure that what we're putting on our skin isn't making us age faster and it's actually doing what we're wanting it to do um, on what the label says it's going to do. One of my clients a couple of weeks ago says, I bought this product and I sure hope it does what it's going to say it does on the back of the bottle. So just so you know, chemical sunscreen filters, um, they only last about one and a half to two and a half hours and then they stop working. So mineral sunscreen filters will last much longer. And let me know if you'd like my top recommendations. My recommendations are always 
getting better and cleaner. So that's why I don't always drop uh, product specific recommendations in the show here. So for lighting, you want to actually change as many lights in your home from LED lights to back to halogen. We're going to go back in time a little bit. LEDs are efficient. Um, they're cheap. They last a lot longer, but they actually emit this like really annoying buzzing noise and it's blue light as opposed to halogen, which is the full spectrum of light. And I do have one of my red lights going. This is actually the Scarlet um, True Light. And then I have the Juve light behind me as well. So if you are interested in getting the Juve light, you can use promo code RV to save. And then you can also check out the True Light on my favorites page. I love red light therapy. I personally don't think you're going to notice like huge transformative changes in your skin with using it. But generally, if you could expose your whole body to about 10 minutes a day per body area, about, you know, six to eight inches from the light source. That's great. Um, red light and infrared and near infrared have all these different benefits with our cellular health, mitochondrial support and all sorts of things. And it also looks really nice. I like it for my circadian rhythm, morning and evening during my AM and PM routines while I'm doing my dermal rolling. Really, really nice to have, especially if you're in like the Northern hemisphere where we don't get sunshine all the time. It's really nice. And it's, it's a great way just to I really like it, honestly, for like present moment awareness. I'm doing my self-care. I'm doing my skincare. I'm doing my rolling. I'm, you know, using a couple of devices on my skin at home, morning and night. And this is a great strategy just to keep yourself focused. And we're stacking our biohacks. It's all about stacking everything. That's what this episode is about. How can we stack our biohacks to slow aging and reduce acne for Acne Awareness Month? The other thing I really want to talk about is saunaing. So detoxification is key. So say, for example, over the last couple of weeks, I haven't felt amazing. And I've, I hadn't been doing as many sauna sessions, or going to upgrade labs here in Victoria as often as I would like work just kind of got in the way life got in the way a little bit. And one of my favorite biohacks to do is to sauna. And sauna A is one of the most effective ways to detoxify quite quickly through the skin. And using saunas that have the infrared and near infrared components, they do reach quite a bit deeper into the skin and pull out more toxins. Um, actually, if you test the skin after like just like a typical sauna versus testing the toxins that are coming off the skin after uh, an infrared and near infrared sauna, more toxins are coming out with the near infrared and infrared sauna, which is an interesting. A couple of tips for saunaing is um, I do go in with my skincare and my makeup. I usually sauna and carry on with the rest of my day. But if you can do it in the evening, maybe before bed, completely shower off after, you always have to rinse off. Every single time you sauna, you have to get those toxins off your skin. And also I do recommend if say you have long blonde hair, like I do to be careful to not kind of overdo it with saunaing because um, saunaing can dry out your hair a little bit. So maybe before going your sauna, using some of my hair oil products for hydration or like a mask would be really nice for um, keeping the hair hydrated while you're in the sauna and heat can actually even help with penetration of products too. So detoxification through sauna is, is a really easy, quick way and effective way to detox through the skin. There are other methods, methods of detoxification as well. The sauna is one of my favorites. I really like sunlight and saunas and you can actually pick up sunlight and saunas on my favorites page at rachelvarka.ca too. Um, there's actually a little promo code there as well. And the other thing I recommend detoxifying from our electromagnetics. So EMFs have been studied for decades. Most of the quote unquote best research in what I'm finding, I'm actually writing some papers on EMFs on the skin are coming out of Europe, but you can actually go on PubMed and look up EMFs on the skin and you will quite easily find some very like mainstream research articles talking about how electromagnetics, which is non-ionizing radiation, 5G, for example, is a form of non-ionizing radiation, like a nuclear power plant melting down that's ionizing radiation. So there's different types of radiation that we are getting exposed to every single day. And the way that I detox from EMFs is 
I actually really like to wear EMF protective clothing. So say, for example, I'm working here or I know I'm going to be driving on a highway where there's just like a ton of towers or I'm in a building where there's lots of uh, Wi-Fi routers, other people's devices as well. You actually don't have to get crazy with this stuff, but I do recommend that you wear protective clothing. So Lambs makes some great EMF protective clothing. They make really great uh, briefs for the ladies and the gents. They make really nice kind of like long or short, short sleeve thermal type wear. And uh, the fabric actually contains silver threads, which helps to block EMFs. And I have tested this with my EMF readers. So I really like lambs. You can use promo code Varga to save on your next lambs order as well. They also make really nice, attractive toques or beanies as well to protect that noggin of yours. And they have some other products also. So lambs is a great EMF protective brand that I trust, really nice products. And then there's another EMF brand I really like, which is called No Choice. You can find information on No Choice on my favorites page, again, where I list all my top biohacks. And I actually really like their oversized blanket. So I actually sleep in an EMF protective blanket. And why I do this is I got to live my life. You know, we have routers, we have cell phones, we have Bluetooth. We not only have our devices, but everybody around us and all these towers going up more and more. And I do think that, uh, honestly, these are some of the biggest health threats of our time, this non-ionizing radiation. What it does and why this is important for the skin is when we are grounded. So say, for example, we're not on our technologies, we're barefoot outside for about 30 to 45 minutes, we're fasting from EMFs, if you will. Our body does this exchange with the earth and our body discharges excess positive ions called protons. And then the earth gives us more electrons, which are negative ions. So our mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. That's how we get ATP, which is the currency for our body's energy. And when our electromagnetics are off, say we're too positively charged, this will have impacts with our body's ability to make uh, peptides and hormones and all sorts of things. But also when we are electromagnetically imbalanced and say we just have like our cell phone in our purse or in our backpack, we're not even using it and it's literally just on us for 30 minutes, it starts to change our red blood cells. So this is a very interesting topic. It's all about reducing our inflammation and our oxidative stress. So how EMFs impact our red blood cells is when you're grounded, your red blood cells will be like inner tubes or marbles bouncing one and off one off one another nice round edges moving freely through our, our our vasculature system to carry oxygen and nutrients to our organs the skin is the largest organ of your body your periphery of your skin and also our red blood cells are responsible for detoxing carrying away toxins and CO2 and carrying more oxygen and nutrients. And what happens when we are electromagnetically quote unquote interfered with, if we're on our cell phone for 30 minutes or it's just in our backpack or our bag for 30 minutes, our red blood cells, the shape changes. They become more sticky. They stack on one another. It's called rouleau. And instead of the red blood cells bumping off one another, they actually stack and like create these like tubes and chains of red blood cells. And also what happens is the red blood cells, um, you can actually see this under a microscope through a live blood analysis. Very fascinating. The red blood cells start to take on this like jagged nature. They start to look like jagged instead of smooth. And what happens is they clump together and then we're actually seeing clotting starting to happen. Like fibrin starts to form between these chains of clump together red blood cells. So when we are electromagnetically exposed and ungrounded, our oxygenation, our tissue perfusion, our skin perfusion actually is impaired. So not only if you start to practice grounding, uh, grounding has uh, become a very popular movement, going barefoot outside when you can, enjoying nature, uh, getting in natural bodies of water barefoot is a great way to do it too. Wearing EMF protective clothing are all in um, EMF protective um, sleeping blankets are all great 
op options for managing and reducing your EMF exposure, turning your phone on airplane, not listening to this episode, using your cellular data or your Wi-Fi, but keeping it on airplane, turn your Bluetooth off, download the episode instead, um, and not using those Bluetooth AirPods that are purely um, Bluetooth. You need to turn Bluetooth off in your home as often as possible. Maybe turning your router off at night too is a good strategy, but Regardless, we're going to get exposed to this stuff. It's just a matter of mitigating it and giving your body, mind, spirit, and energy the best chances possible to have better skin. And when our bodies are less inflamed, our skin is getting better perfusion and detoxification and more nutrients delivered to it. Your skin will be clearer. Your acne will clear up faster. You won't have as many breakouts. You'll start to slow your aging process, all sorts of things. And your brain will even start to work better as well, which is great. Like this episode, I do these all in one take. This, you know, real raw, there's, there's no editing involved here. So it's really wonderful when you start to employ these different biohacks, not only will you have better skin and slow your aging and turn back that biological clock, like what the Viome Health Intelligence Test Kit will help you measure whether or not your chronological age, your biological is older or younger. Um, these are really important things. The first time I did the Viome uh, Health Intelligence Test Kit, I didn't realize that I had so much inflammation in my gut. So this allowed, and I'm, you know, very healthy. My hubby's a pro athlete. We live a very healthy lifestyle. I've been doing biohacking for years, but I was eating the wrong foods for me. So I was able to discover yellow flags and orange flags before they became the red flags and actually had like disease start to happen. And of course, what we talk about here is not medical advice. This is educational information only. If you think you have a medical condition, you must seek the guidance of a licensed physician. So the other thing I want to talk about with foods is uh, one of my clients, Chelsea, she's a vegetarian, but she does eat eggs. Um, just ethically, she doesn't want to eat meat. And I totally hear this with my clients and like, kudos to you. But unfortunately, you're not getting collagen. Collagen comes from animal sources. And the Viome test kit will actually tell you which type of collagen your body will respond better to, whether that's uh, beef, poultry, or marine, which is super helpful and help you figure out which foods to eat. Um, so carnivore, I, I was trying carnivore out last time I did my test kit. Uh, my test, uh, I didn't have as good of gut scores as I was hoping for. And I was trying out a different type of diet. And I didn't really feel great from it, but I wanted to just try it out and see how it went. Um, also, sleep is really important. So when you sleep, they don't call it beauty sleep for nothing. Sleeping is how your body is rejuvenating and recharging and actually, actually detoxifying. That's how your brain detoxes. There's a really cool TED Talk on brain detoxification while you sleep. Your brain actually shrinks. And then all of the, um, like the fluid from your brain, it, it then has a chance to exchange down your, your spinal cord and release toxins. It's almost like that's your lymph system, um, with the brain and your nervous system is actually when you're sleeping, that's when that flushing out can happen. So sleep is really, really important. So I'm a huge fan of bio optimizers, magnesium breakthrough use promo code Varga to save, but taking magnesium breakthrough before bed is really helpful for sleeping better. Uh, I also notice the differences with my HRV when I'm doing all of these different biohacks. And sometimes I'll kind of do a little experiment on myself and, uh, you know, pull back from some biohacks and biohacking. And, and I really notice it. So tracking your HRV is a really good um, biohacking metric to keep an eye on. Our HRV stands for your heart rate variability. And that number will actually give you an indicator. Say if it's gone down, that can be an indicator your body isn't recovering very well, or you're, you know, just about to catch a cold or something like that. And maybe you're not exercising enough. It's a measure of heart function as well and your recovery. So when you can improve your HRV, uh, that's really great. So for sleep, I also like the eight sleep mattress cover. You can get the eight sleep mattress cover on my favorites page as well. So before bed, I'll do my red light therapy. I'll have air purification in my room. I love to drink water before bed. Um, I don't know how I managed to do that, but it just makes my brain feel better. Probably helps with that detoxification. 
definitely taking magnesium before bed and sleeping on a mattress cover that actually gives you temperature regulation to optimize your sleep temperature is one of the key things and EMF protective clothing. Well, really all of these things that the first time I actually slept in EMF protective clothing was the first time I had a hundred percent sleep score. And that's a very coveted metric, um, improving that sleep score, getting that sleep score up as high as possible. So when you start to employ these different biohacks and you have the ability to test if these are actually working for you, say by doing the gut health intelligence uh, by biome test kits to retest to see if your food optimizing choices are making a difference for you, or if at this point, you know, in the at a point in the future, you need to optimize things further. Um, and then you can actually, you can test as you go throughout the day, your HRV with say your aura ring, or I love the eight sleep um, temperature regulating mattress because it also, it also tracks my HRV and my sleep score too, without actually having to have a wearable, which is really cool. So personally, I notice more breakouts. Like I said before, when I have a little bit more alcohol, when I have a little bit more sugar uh, consumption than I'm used to, and I really also want to talk a little bit about stress. Reducing stress will reduce your high beta brain state, which then has a downstream effect on taxing your adrenals and also more cortisol in your body. Um, these are all things that lead to like being stressed out. And when you're stressed out, you're not going to have as good gut motility with your food and all of these things. So body, mind, spirit, energy optimization is what's going to give you a higher level of vibrancy and radiance. Radiance is something that's probably going to be a lifelong a research project for me. It's like, how can we um, improve our radiance? And by the way, it was in the late, I think, late 1990s, um, the fifth element was essentially discovered, the quintessence, the dark matter. Our universe is actually made up of about 70 to 80 percent verks out on just how much dark matter is out there. Uh, huge, I'm a huge physics fan. Um, when I was taking Gen Chem Organic Chem and Biochem, one of my instructors, after he taught me, he then went to go work at CERN. So I've all I've followed um, you know, what's happening in the uh, theoretical particle physics space for like 15 years. So what's really cool is like the space in between the quintessence is I think where the energy optimization is like, how can we blend like our physic, our physical body or our physical bodily functions with um, energetic optimization, um, how we can support our mind and our brain. One of the other things I like to do to support my microbiome, help with neuroplasticity, make new neural connections for cognitive brain health. I also get super inspired for the show when I do my off-grid days. So that, you know, three hours into the bush, no cell reception, I'm in nature, I'm, you know, getting dirty with my hands. It's really supportive doing the cold plunges, like I mentioned, drinking structured water, getting that break from EMF, exploring, right? When you take like new routes from your home to the office, to the grocery store, things like that, you, when you take different routes, it actually helps to support uh, your cognitive health. So one of the sessions I just did for Cindy today, one of the things she wanted to work on was not only slowing aging and inflammation, but also how she can support her cognition. So all of these things that you'll do to allow yourself to be your healthiest version possible will also uh, get you better skin in the process and feel better and feel more um, clear with your words and how you show up in the world, how you speak to yourself and other people places. Well, obviously don't talk to yourself too much, but your self-talk, right? And also there's a really interesting, very, very, very interesting component here of the skin's microbiome. When we expose our hands and our body to different pathogens and microbes found in nature, it actually helps to support a more resilient microbiome. And a lot of times when I work with clients that are acne prone or have sensitive skin or have been told they have rosacea, a lot of times their skin is just telling them, hey, it's not as resilient as maybe it could be. So stabilizing your skin, addressing your basic skin needs with your cleanser and moisturizer, sunscreen scrub, using products that are ideal for you, customized for you, which is what I do. And also making sure that you're not, say for example, you have a thyroid condition, Hashimoto's is like 
crazy common these days. My client right before this, Cindy, you know, has Hashimoto's. And then I'm looking at her retinol that her dermatologist recommended for her. And it's got all four parabens, which are known hormone disruptors. So your self-care beauty products for the gents and the ladies that you're being exposed to morning and night all impact your hormone health. So when you keep yourself as pure as possible and as dialed in as possible with your body, mind, spirit, and energy practices, and also having an awareness of what's in between all of that, you are really going to be giving yourself the best shot at overcoming your acne, slowing your aging, reducing your, you know, propensity to photo damage and sunspots and all sorts of things, and just live your best life on the inside out. So this is a really fun episode to record where I really spoke to my favorite biohacks for healthy skin how to reduce acne. The other thing I'm going to end this episode with is making sure you're actually exfoliating enough. And that's really key and not using a scrub that's like a sugar, salt, rice, apricot hole scrub, seed scrub that will um, potentially tear and scratch the skin. So I have some really great products and options that are like spherical in nature to buff and polish the skin. So the first sign of a breakout, you want to exfoliate that you know, top of Mount Everest off and then open that up a little bit instead of popping it and that creates inflammation scarring. And then you maybe wanna put actives on, on the area like benzoyl peroxide, maybe salicylic acid and things like that. If you're pregnant and breastfeeding, you do wanna stay away from actives like retinol, uh, salicylic acid, glycolic acid, benzoyl peroxide, and some other skin actives, um, just because it's unethical to test on uh, pregnant women and their unborn babies. Uh, but those are kind of like some of the most common um, topical agents for helping with breakouts. But there's really clean formulations that have those actives that don't say have the parabens, like my poor client Cindy was getting exposed to unknowingly by someone who she, you know, trusted. So you have to use your wise discernment. You have to use your, your start to be a conscious consumer is what I'm trying to say. Don't pick up like the social media ads for this product or that supplement because you might be inadvertently exposing yourself to more, more toxins. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode on the Rachel Varga podcast. Again, this is a really fun episode for me to record. I'm about to get outside and, and go to upgrade labs and do some biohacking. And I'm going to do this really cool uh, session today called the cell trainer, which helps to um, shrink your cells and then expand them. And I was doing this a lot, a number of months ago, and I hit an HRV of like 110 to 120. And right now, unfortunately, I'm sitting at about 40. So clearly something's up. So doing the detoxing, getting in the cell trainer, doing a little bit more of my biohacks and really staying on top of ground because life happens. Sometimes we'll go through trends of, you know, we're really into this or, you know, we kind of forget about this, but when you watch your metrics through say your orbiting or your eight sleep and just how you feel, then you can start to say, okay, maybe I need to do a little bit more of this. And when it comes to stacking your biohacks, this is actually something I teach in my seasonal skin camps. So if you're curious, like how to integrate this all in, that's where I kind of take you behind the curtain as to how I employ it. And I see what my clients are doing as well. That's really um, allowing them to successfully integrate biohacking into their routines. But first and foremost, if you're like, what the heck should I be eating to reduce acne, slow aging and all of that stuff, you got to get specific with your food choices. So the Viome test kit is great. Use promo code Varga10. Um, the health intelligence test kit is a stool and a blood sample test kit. It gives you a readout of your gut scores and the ideal foods and also what your biological age is. So let me know how these biohacks are going for you. If you're new into biohacking, just start with one at a time. That's fine. Uh, again, um, prioritizing the air quality, water quality, lighting quality, and food quality are really important. And so biohacking just helps us to manage what we're exposed to in our environments on the daily, because no matter how hard we try, we're still going to be exposed to toxins, but it's really what we're doing to allow our body to recover so that we can slow our aging and be our brightest versions, most radiant versions for now and for many more years to come. Thanks for tuning in here on the Rachel Varga podcast. If you have any questions from today's show, please direct email me info at Rachel Varga.ca. I'd love to meet you. Use promo code podcast 15 and save on your one-on-one -on -one session with me at rachelvarga.ca. 
And if you haven't yet taken my skin camps, I recommend every new client take at least one skin camp and then take about one or two a year to get those seasonal skin updates because with every change of season, oftentimes we can see an uptick in skin sensitivities, more breakouts because of just the shifts that are around us. When we hit, say, for example, a fall, there's more like mold coming off these, these degrading leaves, if you will. And also when we're inside and we're going through changes of season, we're going from using indoor heating or indoor air conditioning and all of these things, changes in the humidity, these all impact the skin. So there are certain skincare adjustments we wanna do every season. There are certain skincare in clinic rejuvenation like lasers that we wanna do. There's things like dermal rolling, which we can do all the time. There's a lot of really subpar free information out there, by the way, on dermal rolling. So if you'd like to learn how to employ it, let me know. I've been working with rolling with my clients since 2011. Um, and I'm very fortunate that actually one of the OG dermal rolling researchers lives in the city where I live. And so I've been able to get um, my insights straight from the OG researcher's mouth. So that's the quality and caliber of information you get from me with rolling, which is collagen induction therapy. Let's get some collagen. So if you're dealing with acne scarring, there are ways to promote more collagen and elastin in the skin. It's actually really affordable. It's rolling is a very long-term strategy, but you have to use the right roller, not just ones you're finding on Amazon or eBay, because you can be exposing yourself to heavy metal toxins. Remember we talked about the toxic bucket Low quality rollers can actually have metal alloys as opposed to being surgical steel or titanium. And then you also have to use the right products with it that are safe for that dermal, um, that are safe for the transdermal penetration, which is like a hundred to a thousand times deeper than just applying the topical um, actives like retinol, lactic acid, hyaluronic acid, copper peptides, other peptides as well, and antioxidants. Uh, there is a method to the madness. So I walk you through that, hold your hand and keep you on the straight and narrow. Have an amazing rest of your day, everybody.